Eclipse estimates are up. It's now expected up to 174,000 people will be in Watertown on April 8th. As 7 News reporter Mark Mason Jr. tells us, the city is changing its plans and first responders are gearing up for the crowds. It's no secret the total solar eclipse is a massive deal for the city of Watertown, with it being in the path of totality. And while the city was expecting to see somewhere between 10 and 100,000 visitors, new estimates from the state are predicting nearly 175,000. We have to plan for what you know could be a sunny day and the highest attendance numbers that we've seen, so we have to be prepared for that, and that has been the city's focus. More people means more traffic. Original plans were to bus people from the Target Plaza off Arsenal Street and the Northland Plaza off State Street to the viewing event planned in Thompson Park. But with the expected traffic, well, those plans have now been scrapped. The way that attendees will be able to access Thompson Park that day is by bus. Uh, we'll be running a continuous bus loop around the bottom of the Thompson Park Hill and into the park. Three stops at the bottom of the hill, one in the park. And it will run continuously throughout the day. With the number of people expected, emergency responders are gearing up for potential problems. At the fire department, they'll have additional staffing on hand that day. If we get crowds on the upper end of the estimates we've received, uh, that's going to cause a lot of problems here in the city of Watertown. Um, traffic being the number one, number one issue. Chief Matt Timmerman says the fire department and law enforcement will be working closely together to make sure roads remain open for Eclipse viewers and typical traffic. The fire department may also have teams set up in different locations around the city so they can respond to potential emergency scenes more quickly. Everyone we spoke to said this all hinges on good, clear weather on April 8th. Without that, officials said we may see very few come out for the eclipse. For more information on what's planned, you can visit our website at WWNYTV.com. Mark Mason, Jr., 7 News.